What's going on everybody? It's Game and Box from Reviews here and welcome to yet another news update on LEGO Batman 3 Beyond Gotham. Now this isn't a huge update, it's kind of small but it's a few more things I've found out about the game which are pretty exciting and uh, a lot of it is actually new, uh, you know, new features we've never actually seen in a LEGO game before. So without further ado, let's get to it. Okay so first off, before I say anything I would just like to admit that Although I am a DC fan, I um, am not that knowledgeable about the Green Lantern universe. You know, everything about Hal Jordan, Jon Stewart. I kind of know a bit, but not as much as most people. So I apologise if I make any mistakes on the history of Green Lantern. Um, but I do think he's a very cool character, and I am very excited to see, uh, you know, what they're going to do with the Lantern Corps in this game. So, yeah. First off, two of the confirmed planets we will visit at the game in the game are Zamaron, which is the home of the Zamorons, if I'm correct, and Audium, the home of the Blue Lanterns. Now, I do know the Green Lanterns, there's Blue Lanterns and there's Red Lanterns, and I think there's Yellow Lanterns as well, like Sinestro? I, I could be wrong again, I'm not really sure. But um, it'll be very cool to see all the different Lanterns. And uh, one of them I would love to see, because I remember watching him in like the TV shows and things, is Jon Stewart. He's just so cool, and um, I definitely prefer him over the rest. So, yeah. Tell me what Lanterns you guys would like to see in the game. Any special ones in particular. It probably um, helped me on my history of the Green Lantern. <laughs> Next up, um, I found out that with a simple press of a button, we will be able to choose and upgrade select characters' suits and abilities. So that's really cool. So, you know, we're used to kind of just being handed things all the time in these LEGO games. You know, oh, here's a weapon. Uh, you've already got it. Here's this and that and that. But this time around, we're actually going to have sort of an upgrade system, which is really nice because I think that will keep us playing uh, much longer than usual because... We'll all want to have the best characters. We'll all, want, and I really hope you know, not just select characters. It says select characters there, but I do hope maybe um, I would like to see all of them have upgrades because can you imagine that? Yes, you've yes you've uh, unlocked all the characters, but now you have to upgrade them all. I think that would be great, and uh, you know, just make it a better game. But we'll have to see. I mean, I, I like the idea behind it definitely. I mean, upgrades and abilities is definitely a great um, addition to the franchise. Now, I already mentioned this yesterday, but um, some more news has been released on it, and I think it's pretty awesome, and I think you're going to be very excited about it. So, we will be able to visit the Hall of Justice, the Batcave, and even the Justice League Watchtower. Now, we knew all that already, um, but also, we will be able to access shops, trophy rooms, and even the Hero Customizer. So, it's nice to see that all of that is returning, you know, from the classic, all the other classic LEGO games that have been released in the past. But now, for the first time ever, we now have a vehicle customizer. That's pretty awesome. I wasn't expecting to see that. But um, in Lego Hobbit, they actually had, um, I believe, a mount customizer where basically you could go into this building um, and customize a horse or something. And, you know, you could just have your own custom horse. And that was really cool, but it's nice to see they're doing a vehicle one. However, I don't really know how detailed it's going to be, you know, it could just be colours, it could just be like the character creator where you just change colours and things, but we'll have to see, I mean, it's very exciting though, because again, it gives even more content to the game than there already is. Okay, so last but not least, for the handheld uh, version of the game, it will have 45 missions spanning an original storyline focusing on dynamic and fast-paced gameplay. And also, it will have 105 characters, not 150 uh, like the console version, 105. So that's interesting. But, um, you know, usually with these uh, handheld versions, you get exclusive costumes, exclusive characters. So we'll just have to wait and see, I guess. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for lots more news on LEGO Batman 3 Beyond Gotham. And please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. 